So who's going to get the money? What money and how much? It's one of the only things I could find on the actual money. That they're going to supposed to give people who are out of work, having a hard time during the coronavirus. We'll come back to play that thing in a minute. You can go through it and pause it. Here is a breakdown, right? Everyone is eligible. It should actually be very easy for them to roll this out since everybody has a social security number. You remember most of the money is going to go to corporations to bail out their friends. You know, just free money for corporations. The money that the people will get to help them is a fucking, is a drop in the bucket. But I found this, I just wanted to run it up. People could read it. I haven't found much on it. Who gets the money and how much, etc. Again, you can pause it and read it as you want. I'm sure it'll all get fucked up. I know who's always getting paid. Our politicians, they're fucking, they never miss a check, do they? Rotten pieces of shit. What a bunch of bullshit. Really? Of course. 13 second piece of shit advertisement. Fucking commercials everywhere. Commercialize the internet. What a scam. That. So breaking overnight, and this is the big story this morning, the White House and Senate have reached an emergency agreement on a massive $2 trillion stimulus package. This is unprecedented legislation. Uh, it will rush to aid businesses and workers and our health care system all slammed by this pandemic. And we want to say good morning to uh, Phil Flynn uh, with the Price Futures Group. And Phil, uh, you know, the, the headline that caught my eye, uh, the total cost of this package is several hundred billion more than the entire annual annual federal budget. So that said, what in your mind needs to be found in this $2 trillion package they're going to vote on later today that will give Americans the greatest aid in this crisis? I, I think it's to, it's to allow businesses to stay in business, you know, the small business loans, the stopping of foreclosures, getting people through this historical crisis that we've seen. And that's my biggest concern. You know, when we were hearing this this money being doled out, we were hearing a lot about pet projects and things that really didn't have anything to do with the crisis. Right. Listen, this is a priority bill. We need to get it to businesses. We needed to get the people who are unemployed. And, and I think this bill goes a long way towards doing a lot of that. I want to talk about what happened yesterday on Wall Street. We saw the biggest single day gain since way back in 1933. I think that date is important, Phil, because those were the early years of the Great Depression. And it tells me that although this is music to a lot of people's ears, we are far from out of this crisis. Yeah, I, I agree with you. I still think there's a lot of challenges ahead. But unlike what we saw in 1933, you're seeing the federal government step in and take steps to, to stimulate the economy. 
You know, back in the 30s, we did the exact opposite. We kind of stood away. I think we've learned a lot from the Great Depression. That's why this bill passed. And that's why we're seeing historic uh, quantitative easing easy by the Federal Reserve. Uh, instead of draining liquidity, they're going to flood the market with liquidity. And believe it or not, that is the cure to this problem. Maybe not the coronavirus, but definitely the cure for what the economy needs right now. All right. Unfortunately, that's going to have to be the last word, but I'm sure we'll be talking again very soon. Phil Flynn, always a pleasure to have your insights here on Good Day Chicago. Thanks for your time. Thanks, Scott.